Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, we will try to do the remaining thing that is nothing but the update post and delete post. Now here, if you try to see the output here, we have did the getting post. We have did now update and delete. We'll try to complete add post also. It's completed. So if you try to add a post here, so here we'll be able to add it successfully. Now we need to do the delete and the update and the delete. Now for doing the update, what is the thing going on? Let's try to see in the post list and the edit post. Here we are doing the stored dispatch update post. We are doing okay, fine. So let's try to do the uh, let's try to add the auth effect. Before doing the auth effect, what we what I will be trying to do is I will try to do the service. Okay, here updating service. So here I can write update post. Okay. And here I will be getting the post. So post of type post. Okay. And here I can tell something like written. Okay. So this could be of type patch. So now in this one we can remove it. Okay. The post data we will try to do it. So this is the update post. Now what I can do, I will try to do the effects. So here I can do something like update post okay dollar is equal to create effect of something like this okay written this dot actions dot pipe what is the pipe I need to do update post so whenever we are listening for the update post sorry off type we need to add off type of update post and here i will be using the switch map switch map okay switch map and i will be getting the action so here i can go like this and here what i can do return this dot sorry return this dot post service dot update post of i need to send the action dot post right so action dot post oh sorry action dot post i need to send the action dot post why this one is coming error so let's import this update post okay update post and here i i could get update dot post okay so we got the update dot post and here i need to do the dot pipe of map operator and here I will be getting the data. Okay, whatever the data here I will be getting, I will be getting the data here. And I need to now let's go to the post actions. Here we have only the update post action, right? Now let's try to add the update post success. Okay, so this one it will be update post success. And here what I could be having so load post, deal post. Yeah, here I can write. Sorry, not this one. This one export constant update post. Sorry, post success is equal to create action of update underscore post underscore success. And here I will be getting the props of post of type post. Okay, so this is correct, right? So of post of type post. And I'll be getting an update post success. Okay, now I need I need to be calling this update post success in the effects. So here I can return update post success of post is equal to action dot post. Whatever the action dot post we are getting, we can send it directly here. No need to worry. So create effect we have created update post success. I need to import it. So done. Now in the post service. So how we can send the data we we are getting the post right so here i can frame the data post data is equal to and this should be of object and it should be of post dot id so this should reflect title of post dot title okay i need to send the data something like this description post dot description i can frame it from this and i can send this post data to here okay this is completed and here in the post dot effects also we have did and the post dot actions also we have written the actions and let's go to the reducer so in the reducer where we are using this update post yeah here update post success 
okay state and action and here we are getting the map and we are updating the post data okay not a problem and we can update yeah so that's it so updating the post so we are going each post and we are updating the data and return post update a post fine perfect so there is no need to but there is no need to change it here so now this one is completed let's go here and let's go to the post and we are able to get the data and here if i click on update i got the data and here i will write leela modified or something like this and here also i'll try to add some data and you click on update post here see we are able to update the data successfully we are able to update the data so if i do here also this one also i am able to update the data now what i will try to do is i will try to do the delete also here so now what i can do is let's go to the post action okay we have the delete post action let's add this one also export constant delete post success and here i can write post page delete sorry delete oh sorry delete post success okay here in the delete post i can copy this one and i can paste it directly delete post success sorry and create action delete post delete post success i can use the delete post success directly and i will be passing this idea id id string yeah that's not a problem and let's go to the effects and before going to the effects let's go to the service and let's write the code delete post okay delete post and i will be getting of idea of string here also and what we can do here return this dot http dot delete okay so i can copy this one directly or otherwise so i can copy this one directly and i can use the delete here i can remove this one and here i can pass this id is equal to what is that one id is equal to dollar of id we can pass this dollar of id like this it will delete the data now delete post is done now i can go to the effects here i can write the same scenario we can write it okay so here it will be delete post and create effect and all those things delete post okay so delete post we can write so when i, when I need to call the delete post sorry i need to call the delete post action dot id dot pipe return delete post success and i need to pass the id action dot id and what it will do so here delete post success also completed and now here if i go to the posts dot reducer and on delete delete post success on delete post success state comma id update a post post filter return box ready okay fine i think this is also correct now if i try to go here if i try to refresh this page so here the page the data is something like this only oh we need to write some other data right so let's go to the post list so where is this post list so if you go to the post list component.ts or delete post so super we we don't need to bother that one so fine now if i click on delete if i click on ok it's gone away so now if i try to refresh so we we have removed everything so what is that could be the reason so i think we passed something the id we should not pass it like this i think oh, oh we sent it something wrong okay question mark id is equal to like this okay now if i try to add a post maybe that could be the issue i don't know okay i am adding another one okay and I'll click on delete. It's got deleted. One only one got deleted, and it's getting deleted everything. Okay, so it's getting deleted everything. So we have written the API URL endpoint URL. How to return? It has been wrong. So we need to change it here. So how we need to write is here. So we need to remove this JSON thing. Post slash. Okay, post slash ID ID also we need to remove. 
and here we need to keep like this and we need to write json dot json like this we need to implement now if i try to refresh okay i will add another post and here if i try to add another post here if i try to delete this one okay it's got successfully deleted if i refresh this one it will stay only one okay so that means we have successfully implemented the delete request also so now we have successfully implemented the adding post showing the post and updating delete post so through the store management and that too that we are getting the data from the backend database we have successfully completed this one but if you observe this one so if i go to log out okay log log it is logged out if i go to the post then also i am able to see the data okay so now we need we need to show the post data when when only the user is logged in okay so let's try to implement that one and also we need to pass the token data to the post when we pass the authenticated token data to the post only then only it should accept that one so let's try to do that one using the interceptors so using the state management interceptors let's try to do that one and also let's try to implement the guard also so by that we can finish this all ngrx store concept okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you